So the next step is to install the transfer mount transducer. Um, the bracket comes in two parts. This part is connected to the actual transducer and then this section is connected to the transom of the boat. So the first step is actually to secure this. So we'll get started on that now. Okay, so the first step is to just to grab these little um, washers here. These are just designed so that when everything's tight, everything stays in place. The um, face uh, head points, let me just get my head around this, points this way. And um, what we've actually got to do is get these little square nuts and they've got a slot in either side. So you sort of need about five or six sets of hands to do this effectively. Just get that, have another go at that. And then we have our nut that comes through from the other side. Hopefully we get that bolt there. Maybe use the Allen key to help us. Okay, so we've got that side secured. Now it's just a matter of getting the other side in. And just maybe tighten it up a little bit. We don't want it um, super tight at this stage. We've still got to set our angles once we get it onto the boat. Um, but if we just sort of get it up so that it's adjustable and we can make the final adjustments on the boat. That should do. So next step is uh, securing our metal bracket to the boat. Okay, so the next step is installing the um, metal part of the bracket to the transom of the boat. Um, so the first step, we're just going to loosely fit this temporarily so we can get our height set and things. There is an instruction guide if you'd like to follow the template guide. Uh, I like to do it a little differently. So um, first step is just to drop that bolt through there. Um, and that'll probably do just so I can line things up and um, get it positioned on the boat and we can mark our bracket so that we can set our holes and drill our holes. So the next step is finding a suitable location on the transom for the transom mount transducer. Now with fiberglass boats, uh, I actually look for these planing strakes, but it's important to have a look up under the hull just to ensure that there's no areas where turbulent water can come under the transducer. Essentially, we need a clean face of water coming underneath this transducer. So if there's any air that comes under the transducer, we'll lose bottom reading at speed. So that's the critical thing. I like to use these planing strokes because I think it becomes an extension off of clean water off the planing stroke under the transducer and uh, we get good speed performance readings. So the first step is just to put a ruler under here and just mount that there. And I might get Ross in here just to mark that transducer bracket. Um, so that's flush with there and if we just mark the top that gives us our indicator and maybe a little mark down the side. That gives us our indication of where we want to mount that bracket. The bracket itself's got some, um, some elongated holes so we still have some adjustment up and down once we screw our um, our screws through the hull, we still have the ability to move up and down as we need to, but we know at this point here the transducer is perfectly flush with the bottom of the boat. Okay, next step is just to mark our hole positions, and as I said, we've got an elongated hole pattern, so I'm just going to line it up about 5mm under that top line I marked before, just because we're not actually ever going to want it above the waterline height or the hull height, so we're only going to sort of go down if anywhere. So if I start there, it's just a simple matter of marking those three elongated holes. And then from there we can just drill our holes in the centres of those three marks. Um, it's always good to tap the um, thread out as well. As far as getting your hole size right, I like to use these easy sizes. So essentially you can just line up um, your self-tapping screw with these holes and just work out. And I think. 4mm in this case is about right, so I've got a 4mm drill bit. Once you've drilled the hole, 
um, it's always good then to just flare it out at the front so there's no risk of cracking your gel coat when you try and drill that self tapper in so it just flares that out so you get a nice clean thread in with no cracking of the gel coat. Okay so we've drilled the holes, they're all set, um, most importantly don't forget a bit of sealant. Um, these little aqua seal tubs are, should be in every um, guy's toolkit really. Um, these little 80 mil ones are really handy um, rather than using the big cartridge if you only got little jobs here and there. Um, available in white or clear uh, so you can check those out on the BLA website, very handy to have. Okay, so we've got the bracket now mounted onto the back of the boat. Um, so now we've just got to get this placed in there. So that just slides up through there. Uh, you just grab the main bolt, that goes through there. And then we just have two washers, one nylon washer goes on first. Um, then a stainless steel washer, it's fitted to the nylock bolt. And that just comes in on the other side. And then all you need from there is the uh, Allen key that is supplied in the kit and a Phillips head screwdriver. So we'll get this tightened up and then we'll set the angle of our transducer. Okay, so we've got this top bolt secured now. Now we've just got to set the angle of our transducer. So now that this is secure, we can take off this um, little cover, but that just protects um, the bottom of the transducer while we're installing in case you drop it or scratch it. Um, so that can be removed now. What I like to do at this point is just grab our ruler as our straight edge and just run that along the inside edge of the hull. And that gives us an idea of the angle that we need. Uh, if we look at the leading edge, that's just below the planing strake, which I'm pretty happy with. For this type of boat, um, I believe that leading edge should be maybe 2-3 mil below the um, ruler, the leading edge of the ruler. And then the back, you just want it tilted down slightly. So essentially what we want to do is get a nice clean face of water off that planing strake under that transducer and uh, coming off there. So I'm actually pretty happy with that angle as it sits there now. About, about there. So then it's just a case of with the Allen key just tightening up those two screws that we had in there before. They can be tightened up now. And you can adjust that. You can go out and try, try the uh, performance, get your speed. If you find it's breaking up at a certain speed, then you might just need to lower it down, which will mean just dropping this whole section and the transducer out, loosening off your three screws that hold the metal bracket to the transom of the boat, um, maybe lowering it down. Maybe first just try your angles a little bit, maybe try and improve that angle. But I think that's set fairly nicely there. So hopefully you can get an idea of how we've installed this one. Um, if it's a fiberglass uh, a aluminium boat, you'd probably want to run it between the planing strokes because they're more of a lump sort of situation and they'll just create aeration. But fiberglass boats, as long as that planing strake's going all the way to the back of the boat, I believe that's the best place to get a good speed reading out of your transducer.